bonk, boom, boom, bada bing, bum, bang, boom. Hey. Yay. What's up and welcome. Today we're playing Save the Queen. I'm Clay. That's Tom. That's Nanny. Hello. You will address me as your majesty. God. <laughs> it, was just, it was so, it felt like uh, you were going for the, like, Mr. Rogers. Hello and welcome. Yeah. Sort of. Thing, and then over no, 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 your majesty is here. Your majesty. It begins. Yes. It, it does begin. Hello. Well, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's kick her off. Let's save the queen, bro. I think we might yeah. need to tweak the aspect ratio. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. This game always is like, oh, you like 16 by 9? How about Yeah, no. the resolutions game is really weird. There. I have two mouses. I'm dual mouse drifting today. Yep. So, ooh, it's weird. This is, what, this is what we always talked about. I'm just being. We should probably wear some more revealing clothing and just like hang out. Mm. And oh yeah. Play. Oh, <laughs> we're yes. playing. I am the queen. Take off your yeah. shirts and touch each other's butts. All right. Nah, we don't have we, 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 we don't. Do, 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 do. Oh, I tried just you said just a little bit. Okay. We're almost anyway. home. The room is uh, just the way you left it. <laughs> Good. Quite, quite so. <sighs> Bend over it, son. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It is what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wanted me to burn the, the cities to the ground. <laughs> she would have wanted, would have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us, on you. I dropped my fruit snacks. That oh, was no. the wrong mouse. Oh no! Oh no! I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Nice. And what perfect timing to, in that little conversion to say, angriest! And I got all of this. This is all me now today. Is, hi everybody. I need y'all to pray for Lefty. He needs your positive vibes for his football sports team, the Chiefs, to win. So this is really important. Pray hard. I want to see all the prayer hands in chat. Good unless, luck. Unless you are on the side that doesn't cheer for the Chiefs, then I want to see little devil horns in, I really in chat. Brett Favre wins the Super Bowl. I want my good buddy Doug Demuro to win the Super Bowl. Doug Demerol? Doug Dimmadome. Cool, cool. Doug Dimmadome. <laughs> Demerol is uh, his <laughs> uncle, who is a Wait, uh, where am I going? Pharmacist. What am I going to do? Um, well, first off, we're going to get... Um, right click to save, by the way. Thanks. We're gonna get reflexes, cause I like Bam! reflexes. Doug Dimmadome of Dumsdale Dumsdale um, Dimmadome. Done. Dimsdale Dimmadome. Your okay. teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly That's in order to train awesome. your blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. You practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. <laughs> See, look how much that training actually worked for you. Now, <clears throat> look at this, not even affected. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Yeah. Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. <laughs> Darling. I thought it was you. <clears throat> Darling. Sorry. We're so what, terribly you? sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Or more like Fidelia. <laughs> oh, Thank no. you, that pun was amazing. I can't wait to take over your lands. For three playthroughs for that. <laughs> you look well, niece. You look awful, Laurent. Fuck Get you. some sleep. Shut up. Hi, Lottie. Charlotte, you look possessed. <laughs> Hi, Lottie. Voice. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mummy says we'll be here all month. Oh, maybe we'll have some time to talk later. <laughs> Well, on that note, a big thanks to Prodigy Gaming for playing the gotcha game today. So hyped for Princess Nanny. I have faith in you, Nanny. You can do this. I believe in you. Thanks. And also from our good friend, Scratadu or Falandur. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, as promised, I am here. Oh, and good luck, Lefty. Good luck, Lefty. Good luck, Lefty. Lefty. We're going to speak to Lady Charlotte and Lady Mervet because we have never done this before. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. 
Oh, you should visit more often. It's awful that they only the only time we get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister are too, still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave the castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Aww. Well, let's see. How are we feeling today? How are we feeling today? Afraid. I would like to get angry. Mm. That's you don't really need... hard to do. I'm getting there, friend. We're gonna do it. If you <laughs> anything to do with horses, and you unlock the thing, and you unlock angry. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be. I, I, I bet you the same thing happens. So if you get like sword or something, you do, like, we're gonna training. own our skills here. Here. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand-eye to, to react. You can play sports on the weekend. That's See, gonna make me angry. There, yeah, probably am. Yeah. So you learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. I do that. Yeah, it's weird. What's all the commotion outside? Father? What's going on? <clears throat> I've come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. Dead. What? For deadlier. I am a lumen. As was she, and like every Lumen, I'm willing to give my life necessary to, to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years, and I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Um, oh. you don't teach me anything. <gasps> you heard my father? Get out, leave, and don't come back. As you wish. I will return to my duchy until you call for me. Interesting. She won't. <gasps> oh, plus one angry. There it is. Oh, it's not the week. Oh, it is. <laughs> but what about Lady Charlotte? Mm. Yeah, whatever you're in the mood for, man. What about my mood? Let's see. <sighs> I just, I just need to get angry. I just need to get more angry. Mm. It's just what I got to do. Hmm. You take to the court to, for a few games of tennis. Feel the thrill of competition. Boom, and thanks, Riku, forever. Queen Yeti, I love this run so much. <laughs> I will be victorious. We're gonna see what happens. Certainly will not die to thanks, Riku. snakes or whatever. Okay, and then yeah, once we get angry, ooh boy. So we're gonna be so intellectual. Angry dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. You practice running at high speeds back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. You practice curtsying, standing and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. Just you wait. I'm going to be the most beautiful, angriest princess ever. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. <gasps> me too. You gather your skirts and prepare to sit down when all of a sudden a hissing noise alerts you to a danger, a hidden danger, a snake! Shut it! Don't move! Oh. With your quick reflexes, you grab the forked stick and manage to flip the snake away from you and your cousin. <laughs> oh my god! Get away, you horrible thing! Oh yeah, the uh, your aunt isn't here. Yeah! You stomp loudly on the ground and the snake slithers off into the distance. I wonder if that would have killed you. Wow. Wow. What is going on here? Mommy, there was a snake. What was the snake doing in the royal gardens? This is completely unacceptable. You could have been killed. Elodie scared it off. That's not good enough. I can't have my daughter remaining in such a dangerous place. We're returning home to Merv at once. Oh. Rip. Oh. How angry am I right now? Pretty angry. Oh. <laughs> but your mood is still depressed for some reason. Yeah, well, because well, it's tied. Angry. Yeah, this should do it. Feel the thrill of competition. You can read those, by the way. Ooh, we're so mad. Let's see Ooh. what we got with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, Prodigy Gaming. Since Tom is reading donations today, remember, kids, if you ever get shot with an arrow, make sure to push it deeper to, to stop the pain. Right? Right? Right. 
There are legit some instances where you want to do that. Those things are barbed and it sucks. And it sucks. I'm in shot with a few arrows. Really? Yeah, one time my innards came out. It's not good. Yeah, that's why you don't pull it out either. Here we go. Um, ooh. Yeah, they, they didn't make those things very nice. Let's <laughs> no. continue with Thank our, you. our dance, but we're also going to learn... Yeah, just not into your vital organs. Archery. So oh. we can learn more about pushing things into us. Mm-hmm. You practice walking on the, ar uh, on the arm of a partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. You learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. Hmm. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zahara and their parents gone. It certainly is not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. <laughs> well, the pain will stop <coughs> when you die. Angry. Mm. Um. And let's see. We're going to do... Oh, we're going to do a, a flexible... Mm. A flexibility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and... Mm -hmm. We're going to also... That, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a flexibility and archery again. It's going to be good. And then we're going to go full into naval strategy, Neo side dude. Don't you worry. <laughs> you practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. You practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscle effect, the muscular effect. Hmm. You've unlocked a new outfit. <gasps> nice. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. You learn about different styles and sizes of bows, long, short, and recurve. Hmm. Uh, thanks to uh, 1100 Jared for coming on out. Good to see you. One of the maids approaches you for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedona. Oh, we have a Duke of Sedna? We're not very bright. No, my lady. The Duchy of Sedna is in Talas. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Uh-oh. Condolences on the death of... Deeply regret best wishes. Ooh, pretty necklace! I'm gonna wear it. It's gonna be good. Sounds great, Lady Minerva. Angry. Ooh. Now let. 2 2. Ooh. Oh. It's a 2 2. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> We're so mad. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, it's gonna make it really annoying to get yourself not mad if you want to do any other skills. No, I don't. It's okay. Angry. So, we have a boost right now to military yeah, and not time. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's let's start the military. Sure, sure. It'll happen. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got that check coming. Just regular strategy. Then we'll get naval strategy. Don't worry. Um, oh, and we are at... Nice. Okay. Hmm, that's cool. really weird. Let's, let's learn more dance, too. We're going we're gonna to get all agile. Because if anyone who attacks us, we need to be good. Mm-hmm. You practice different partner uh, dance positions. Closely held at a distance. Non-contact. That's the best kind of dance. <laughs> Leave room for Jesus and the appropriate hand placement for each. There you begin to go. practice dance steps in time with music. Boom. Sorry, that was coming the wrong way. Nyani trying, but he's never going to reach a, my level of angry. Oh, we'll see. We will oh, we'll see. see. Um, and <clears throat> slow turning and weaving. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. Hashtag leave room for Jesus. Your Royal Highness, I would like to speak with you. What is it? I don't remember this. Oh. Your mother oh, right. wielded the power of a lumen, right. as have the kings and queens of Nova before her. Wow, you're really pretty. You'd look really great in a dungeon. Now that she is gone, that responsibility falls to you. Her crystal power is My here. My father said I shouldn't get involved in magic. If you don't, who will defend the domain if the Kraken rises again? <laughs> that would never happen, I have right? seen signs of the future. Danger is coming. I can teach you to control your powers, but first, you must seize your bright birthright and become a Lumen. No! My father said I shouldn't, and I trust him. You're trying to corrupt me. Your Highness. Leave me alone! Not gonna lie. Magic was pretty metal, though. Oh, mm. I can attend the ball. Mm. How fancy. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, I guess since she mentioned naval strategy, we'll learn some naval strategy. But mm-hmm. we ain't going to stop with our reflexes and whatnot. Because mm-hmm. uh, we need them. We need mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. You practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when the ball is too far away to reach in time. You practice chasing a small dog through the castle gardens, leaping over uneven stones and dodging through branches. Dog chasing. You learn that the sea is not something you hold. It is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures that you're free travel when denying it uh, to your enemies. Is there a joke there I missed? I don't know. You hold like something you don't you don't hold the sea. Oh, dear to your heart. No, I'm not sure. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. Mm. Nice. Mm. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Mm. Mm, angry. Okay, how angry are we now? Full angry. Good. Um. Yeah, let's let's uh let's also learn logistics. Let's just get an even spread. I have no clue what I'm doing. Mm. You practice touch blocking skills at full speed, deflecting hands before they can reach you. You practice running through a field, dodging balls that are thrown at you from all sides. <laughs> Could you imagine being the princess doing that? She's like, "All right, servants, throw balls at me." And Are then, you sure, my lady? And then, right? But then you're throw like, the "Do you throw the balls, or do you tr- aim to miss her?" And then she looks really She's good. She's the best tutors in the world. Of course, they're throwing the balls. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army to march on, and how long they will remain edible. Neat. There's a man to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. I'll just rightly go tell him to get fucked. <laughs> yeah. Remember, his tre- the treasure is not limited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I plan to print books using the metal letters, which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 850 lassi to assemble the metal and a factory to mold the cast and type. With this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of time it takes now and make copies sent all over the world. I don't know much about factories or trade. Uh, would that really be worthwhile? What's this do? Oh, it's me. Hmm. We are not interested. We've we never are never interested. Press. Let's talk to our dad. Mm. Dad, what really happened to mom? She was a lumen, a magic user. It was meant to be in reserve to defend our domain, but she insisted on... Oh, you don't need to hear that. She used magic to drain her, uh, it drained her strength. She thought it was harmless and it wasn't. Eventually, her heart just stopped. That's why I don't want you involved with it. Okay. Cool. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. We're making... These classes look good. Let's go. Mm. Who even reads? Am I right? Right? Mm -hmm. You sit quietly in the center of a room, watching out of the corners of your eyes to see people approaching you from a distance. You practice catching balls that are thrown at you from different directions while you're not looking, so that you have to rely on hearing and instinct to sense the incoming missiles. Holy shit. I mean, when you're level 100... You have nothing more to learn about reflexes. You study the kinds of equipments that soldiers need uh, available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, bandages, and the tools to repair anything damaged. You study different kinds of transport. Animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. Hmm. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixionite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long, and now is the time to push back. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie? We have plenty of troops, so it shouldn't be that hard to drive them out, if we want to make a fight of it. Oh, no. Yeah, baby. Well, if they want to fight, then we'll oh, give it yeah, to baby. them. And I will arrange for the troops to be sent to your aid. Thank you, Your Highness. To war! Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Oh, then you have made arrangements with him? Um, what sort of arrangements? Your Highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Um, oopsies. Oopsies! Oh. <coughs> War. Oh, no name. Oh, I didn't realize.
realize. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Thank you, Falander. Feel, Falander. Feel the hatred. Use the darkness. Feel the anger. Feel the hatred. Let's get <laughs> fucked up. It's darkness time. <laughs> <laughs> And the next one is gonna be Xehanort. And let's find out if we're right. No. Just kidding. But what can Krakens do when faced with 10,000 cannons? Navy pride. Well, we'll we find probably out. just brush them all off and sink the ships. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Never. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what are we at? Well, we need more strategy and naval strategy. Good. Good. Everything is proceeding just as I intended. You work through the standard repertoire of ballroom dancing, being sure that you know the basic steps for any dance likely to be required of you in a social setting. You practice the postures and extensions of solo ballet, learning to stretch and form an elegant line with your body. Mm. Man, we're gonna be like going to war and dancing, and it's oh, be yeah. beautiful. Well, sword fighting is basically just dancing. Mm. You may now attend ballroom dancing on the weekends. Mm. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale uh, can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. Ooh, battle report! You succeeded in driving them out of Marie, but it cost you about three quarters of a battalion of soldiers and a great deal of uh, material. Mm. You lost 857 soldiers. No. That's a lot. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. Hmm. Couldn't we always ballroom dance? Let's, let's talk to Dad. Hmm. Dad, if this trouble with Ixion started years ago, why didn't Mom fix it? Your mother told the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas that it wasn't their problem and they should sort it out themselves. Hmm. Oh. Should I have done that? The situation is different now. Everyone on all sides wishes to see what sort of queen is coming to the throne. Hmm. Everyone is judging me. Cool, 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 cool. So now we can learn about swords. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And naval strategy. Mm -hmm. Wait, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. The soldiers didn't dance hard enough, right? You take up wooden sword and practice collecting grips or correct grips and stances. You study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, and a standard complement of weapons. Nice anime. So we're waiting for uh, Catherine Fullbody, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> it's You've unlocked a new outfit. Oh, I'm gonna wear it. Mm-hmm. The report that a key throng has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a key throng? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. I wonder if he's lying to us. Eek! It sounds like I want to kill it! Several disappearances in southern Caloris are already thought to be the work of the creature. What should we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. <clears throat> hunters are no match for such creatures. It would only make it angry and waste more lives. So, we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad. Yeah. Also, there's a letter for you. Tell us, the Duke of Senna will be arriving next week on an official visit. visit. Uh, Awkward! Um, We haven't addressed that at all. I guess you have to pass the lore check to know how to defeat it or what have you. Maybe. Maybe. New outfit. Mm. Ah, it's perfect. I yeah. love it. Little It'd Napoleon be cool actually got that sword. And it right? Was like, you have a sword on you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so let's let's learn pole arms and then uh none of those are lower. Yeah, good. We can just max out naval strategy. Mm -hmm. Naval strategy. You learn about a variety of long weapons from the quarter staff to the spear to the halberd and the glaive. Mm. You learn about the requirement for a civil uh civil Civilized, yeah? Yeah, civilized. sailors. For all yeah. civilized sailors to re re rescue the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. Well, 
we'll get that out of them for sure. Um, oops. Uh, you learn about uh, the challenges of naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather, as well as dangerous uh, the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown coastline. Oh, your highness. What a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. Wow. Don't go sad now. Wow. You have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was so pleased to hear that you accepted my humble offering, a jewel for a jewel. Mm. <laughs> but you are the more precious. Mm -hmm. I hope that is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring stability to both of our peoples. He really does want to marry me! Decline. I need to let him down gently. I am not marrying you! I am only for Jane! That may have not been gentle. That wasn't so gentle. I see. I regret the misunderstanding. A tenfall. <laughs> depressed and pressure. And thanks, Cesar. Appreciate the subscription. Angry. Stab him with a boat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Decline in all timelines. Rip. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess we'll keep uh, swords and pole, pole arms getting going. We'll get some logistics. Man, I love this. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oops. You practice walking while carrying a long weapon, getting the feel for its size and the weight and learning to maneuver it without banging into anything unintentionally. You learn the basic stances, grips, and positions for staff fighting and how to block a blow without crushing your fingers. You learn more about, or you learn about the, the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them. And then these people, those people, sorry, and animals also need to be fed and equipped. Mm. Uh, noop noop. That stuff happened, like, from what I understand, all the time with royalty. Like, yeah. arranged marriages and stuff. With oh, yeah. Girls of, like, I will not marry. Different. I'm going to marry a boat. Mm. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands, and friendly civilians may not stay friendly if robbed. Still gross, my dude. It's still gross, my dude. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Thoreau. You mm. all request to stand judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Married about, got a free cruise. Your Highness, this sl sl slattern dares to p p beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? The good <laughs> this one? This is important, yeah. D Coruscant, the Duchess of Mead. Is she all right? She's unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It, it's justice it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me ma'am's heart. Lied to her they did when she went to see why he'd not come back. Said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one neither. I waited t ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You, you see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what this is all about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... As she's clearly guilty, her life is forfeit. She will be hanged in public to, as a deterrent to other criminals. You don't have me! All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you're unarmed. You grope for a weapon and only uh, found only a heavy golden ornament, which you hurl in her direction. Oh. Your oh, missile man. flies wide off its mark. Before you have a chance to do anything, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you, her lifeless body bleeding on the carpet. Then get that out of here. Put it on display so that everyone sees what happens to criminals. I wonder if this text is at all affected by your mood. Maybe. Because it sounded angry, but I wonder if... It was the same as before. When Ooh, I did it. tour yeah. your barracks. Wow. Let's see our mood. 
Yeah, let's tour the barracks. Let's see what this is about. Mm -hmm. You're impressed by the discipline of the Novan troops, but the responsibility for their lives weighs heavily on your shoulders. There are approximately nine battalions, one company, and one platoon under your direct command. One platoon? We need far more. <laughs> ah! Hey, Chaos Solo. Thank you very much for the support. Always appreciate it. No message again. Uh, and we've also got, as long as it plays, it should play. You it gotta should... wait. There it or is. Not. Prodigy! Off with everyone's heads! World domination will be mine! Yep, we play in risk. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you practice slow swings to move your blade to the precisely marked targets, building up your muscles and control. You drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in careful time carefully timed patterns. You've unlocked a new outfit! You learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both uh, offense and defense. And thanks for Draco. You can now tour the barracks. Well, I mean, I already did, but thanks for telling me. As you're walking one day over in the gardens, uh, you hear a strange sound and look up to see a flying owl overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. It's funny. I thought owls were nocturnals. Well, or nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crowdfunding for a project or something. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I, I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Um, putting sick people together? Wouldn't that make them die even faster? We're not interested. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I was really hoping for the hospital. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's keep on playing sports. And check out our new outfit. New outfit! Tavern. Oh, oh you are a musketeer. That's a cute. Musketeer. I like this one better, though. <laughs> it's, it's very cute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. <laughs> to quote my father, everyone dies in the end. Mm. It's true. Man, I should eventually learn uh, athletics as well. Mm hmm. Well, let's just continue on our naval or our strategy and uh, archery. You learn about caring for your bow, how to store it between uses, string and unstring, and check for damage or wear. You also learn that you should never fire a bow without an arrow on the string. You mm -hmm. strap on protective gear and practice gripping, drawing, and anchoring the bow before finally losing a shot. Oh, Tsurune! You study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to thrown fire and sand, and how a threat of such attacks can uh, shift the enemy's response. You study the use of cavalry in battle, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. You study the effects of a strong hierarchy on military organization and the ability of troops to respond to changing situations. Communication across an army can be difficult. Disruptive signals can lead to chaos. Mm. <laughs> Pocket sand! <laughs> Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be a public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball! There will be dancing. As queen, you will be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech or something. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. Yeah, I think you mean the public may not be safe if exposed to me. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what do you mean not safe? Outside the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means to harm, think on it now and decide later. There's a letter for you as well. It's from Brienne. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevin has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest to her. Good talk, me. Angry. So, let's see. 
Let's learn some more dance, I think. Because we gotta dance soon. Mm. Dance and swords. Good combo. The dark souls of novel type games. Yeah. Very much. You study the secret language of dance and how a story can be told through gestures and positions. You design your own dance movements to cover the floor, first slowly and then with greater speed. You practice moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. You spar with a partner, trading blows while looking for openings to tag each other. Oh, man. It would be fun to do some... And planting for the mm. Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? Fun to do some... What do they call that? Touche? Mar fencing? fencing? Fencing. Fun to do If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment, but if we lose you, there is no recovery. Um, I will lead the parade. I'm not going to speech about it, though. I'm not afraid. I'm even going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. Hmm. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Oh, right. I'm not decorated or elegant. At the mm -hmm. end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. Then new life is blessed. Sorry, then the new life is blessed and all in attendance join in song. The procession regroups and returns to the castle. All of a sudden, there's a faint rumbling noise from under your feet. A newly planted tree in front this of you new. quivers, and then, out of nowhere, a spurt of water comes up from the ground, spatting you and the uh, uh, assembled crowd with droplets. Just as quickly as it began, it vanishes. The priestess tries to calm the crowds with talk of omens and natural eruptions, but they can't halt the whispers. Dark magic. That water tasted of salt. Oh, we ate some? Well, we got the taste of it. You know? I think that what it's trying to tell me... Is to play some sports? I think so. And I also think that they're trying to tell you that Clay's magic run is going to make an appearance in here. I think that it's also saying I should probably learn about naval strategy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, oh, but man, we're so weak on all of these things. Let's keep going archery and, and get our dance maxed. Mm. And then we'll do naval strategy. I, I've never seen this before. What, what did you do? <laughs> he sent the... the the Duchess of Sedna? I can't I, know. Basically, if, if anyone's like magic, I was like, fuck your magic. Yeah. yeah he said also, that. I might do some sweary Marys because I'm angry. Mm -hmm. So getting into getting into character, mm -hmm. um, don't worry about it. But if you're sweary Mary, uh, not likey, then sorry. You practice dramatic movements with a partner. Dips, lifts, and tosses. You practice high-speed spins and turns on, uh, on point, whipping your leg out around dramatically. I did that, and I kicked something once. You have nothing left to learn about dance. Oh, no, Mog, it's not me. It's Nanny. No, it's yeah. me. I'm the, the thing. You practice shooting at a clearly marked target across the, uh, the flat field. You practice shooting at targets of different shapes and sizes and mixed terrain. Are you ready for the grand ball? <laughs> All of the nobles in the domain are here to see you, you to see the queen. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around you, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. <clears throat> yes! Failed everything. Mm -hmm. Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. At, mm -hmm. After that moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. Not gonna fail this. Mm -mm. He guides you gently around the floor, or the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the looks in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. The Duke special of training. <laughs> Duke of Kegels. <laughs> oh. You look around the room at all the, your possible partners. Which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Intriguing court manners. Um, <laughs> let's pick someone already married, because it's a power move. Oh, yeah. 
you don't want everyone assuming that whoever you pick is your uh, first is your intended marriage partner. So what better way to prove the, that than by choosing someone who's already married? With that in mind, you approach Erwin, the Earl of Ishtar. He's old enough to be your grandfather, and his wife is right, right there with him. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> he seems startled by your approach at first, then thoughtful and accepts your hand with a kindly smile. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Of course, you're an excellent dancer, and you relish the chance to show off your hard-earned skills. Mm. A ballroom dance isn't nearly as much as a showcase as a stage performance, but you can easily impress the guests with your technique and style. Between the dances, there is time for guests to mingle, chat, and uh, sample tiny bites of exquisite food. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting a clear note ring throughout the room. If I might have your attention. He's single. I believe I should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Oh my god. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe that uh, to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwinnell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you, and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest of daughters of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the battle, a uh, ball field, sorry. No, Brianne. She said her parents were leaving or stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his Duchess positively tight. Strange that there's no signs of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. That'd be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by and all. It's mm. nice to be able to enjoy some times with friends and family, isn't it? <laughs> Failing checks. Damn it. Sports. Okay. I'm not very flexible. Mm -mm. That's fine. Oops, wrong one. Let's let's continue. Let's max out strategy and archery. Seems good, you think? It's gonna be so interesting to see how you die. It'd be really ironic if you get killed by magic. Please. I'm not gonna die, I'm gonna win. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You study famous battles, the disasters and the mistakes which created them, and the turning points in larger conflicts and why they made a difference. You study the concept of defeat in detail and how an army can be destroyed by crushing by crushing small parts of one at one time, sorry rather than attacking it all at once. Uh, Josh, they usually go up right after the stream, so it should be up in about an hour. It takes a bit to process. You don't know, need to know anything more about? Duh. You know, Yasha, I'm gonna win, don't worry. Two of Vesper. It's a good one, by the way. You practice long distance shooting, setting arrows into the ground at different at ranges. You practice shooting moving targets, and you practice shooting targets while you yourself are moving, pulled along by a chariot. Damn. Mm. Uh, Warrior's wife, we're not saving, we're just going. Whatever happens, happens at this point. Yeah, whatever yeah. happens, happens. Yeah. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't even realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Oh, you're too kind, Jocelyn. 25? Countess Serene, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noblewomen go go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. Oh. How dare she make a move on your oh. father? Oh. You wait until the countess gets closer. Then, you hook your foot around her and make her stumble. She trips over you, falling gratifyingly to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you both all right? I'm fine. Willful. <laughs> she picks herself up and glares at you before forcing a smile onto her face. I think perhaps I should go and sit down. You can't be too careful. 
Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman and nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. A whole bit later. <laughs> you should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. Uh, you need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I am paying attention to what's around me. She says as she fails intrigue. <laughs> <laughs> Angriest! Cave Johnson. Chariots! Chariots! I don't get that. I don't know who Cave Johnson That's is. That's from Portal 2. It's a good game. Oh, oh nice. Oh, single play play right you didn't play the single player story. Mm. Angry. So let's Jack see. Up, good Portal reference. Thanks, Angrius. A great Portal reference. I guess flexibility does come in handy. Well, time for more swords and I was naval to pass strategy. that flexibility check. My flexibility is kind of low, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And naval strategy. Done. Right? I always I always just forget and then I Chill. cool you learn about the use of ships in transporting ground soldiers between locations you study the cost time and materials required to construct new ships you study blockades both setting them and breaking them you begin to work with the metal blade, getting the feel for it, its weight and the edge, as well as learning how to care for it. You practice drawing your blade and striking at sh a short notice from a variety of positions. It is the time of the year for you to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. I think we need to invest more to our military. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there's always room for some discretion. I don't know anything about budgets. Uh... Lower. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. As you wish. And <laughs> before Nianni learns dual wielding hmm. sports. I guess we'll max naval strategy and swords all in one. Ha ha. You study the effect of cannons against coastal installations such as enemy docks and seaside villages. You study the difficulty of a sneak attack at sea and ways that it can be achieved. You learn the techniques of thrusting your blade through armor to disable it or kill your opponent. You learn advanced techniques for holding off multiple opponents at once. Hmm. <laughs> She's Ezio now. You are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling his wife. Oh, now you save. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm scared of this man. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed enter. your wife, then why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. It was the demons, I tell you. It was the demons. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me, Jerry. They used, they twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me in the chains. They wrapped around her, Jerry. <laughs> I need a priestess to bless me and make me clean again. What's the deal with beasties? Demons make you attack people? Mm, is that even possible? Um, time to kill him. I don't care whether it were demons or not. You're still a murderer and your life is forfeit. You'll be hanged in public as a deterrent for future criminals. His mouth is open to argue. Uh, his mouth opens to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. Angry. You go to play tennis. You play sports. He didn't even do anything. No, he will, though. No, he, wait, you yeah, killed him, right? We've done the, you did the same thing. And when you go to oh, execute him, he'll be like, right. magic, and oh, explode right. everything. Right, 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 right. You study how to determine when a, uh, to jettison or destroy excess goods for speed and how to avoid overreaching. You learn about how to calculate enemy war preparations based on the movements of goods within their lands. Armies do not spring up full formed overnight. You study the benefits of looting as a troop motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. You practice standard attacks uh, and sweeps with a long staff. You practice sparring with a partner using a staff. 
You practice special techniques with the staff, such as twirling it or using it to vault. It's pretty. Hmm. You received word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where you may... Oh, yeah, where he went to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors about a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents to their dark rituals. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't worry about it. I am unworried. Well, let's see. Oh, wow. We're getting pressured, too, eh? Mm. That, mm. I think pressured makes us have something, too. Uh, yeah. I don't think that actually pressured, because you already... Ca I think it goes by whatever's the highest Sports. stat sort of thing. So it's like, I don't, I don't think you can actually get anything but angry right now. Cool. Well, I let's continue logistics and pole arms, and then we'll get flexible. Hmm. Logistics and pole arms. Too angry to worry. You learn how to calculate how effective military strength wanes over distance from a home position as it becomes more difficult to put pieces into play. You learn about how to delay the, the advance of an invading force by disrupting their transport and communications. You have nothing more to learn. You practice basic techniques with a long oh. spear. That's very upsetting. Controlling your thrusts to penetrate specific targets. Um... You practice basic swings with a halberd, building up your arm strength while <laughs> learning to control the movement. You practice sparring with a wooden halberd versus a wooden sword, learning the dangers of overextending and allowing your opponent in too close. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Eleth, has passed away. But as this... I said before, everyone dies in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad! You always know what to say to cheer a girl up! This isn't really a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. With the control of Elithin doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. The young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years, and he needs a regent. His stepmother, Oris, the Duchess of Lea, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire eastern border. I don't know anything really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, who might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility that you and Adair are both young and not too far apart in age. He requested that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. Um, send him to your uncle. Mm -hmm. What about your brother Armand? He'd be safe in a pair of hands, or uh, he'd be he'd a be a safe, safe pair of hands to watch over Adair. As you wish. No marriage, run boys. Yeah, no marriage. Let's let's learn this. Cool. Checking on our military. Nine battalions, one company, and one platoon. <laughs> okay. So, oh, that's painful. Mm -hmm. That's just painful. Painful, definitely. So mad. Wait, I've maxed out all logistics yet. Yeah? Good, nice, cool. Um, well, I guess let's start learning about intrigue, because uh, it's the next kind of thing, and we'll start getting more flexible. Then we're going to learn to run. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire strong ties to the domain of Talas. Oh, rip that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you can read them. No, no, go ahead. I've been doing a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. If you want to read them, I'd be more than go happy. Ahead. Okay. You kneel with your hands pressed to the floor, then stretch like a cat, rolling your back up and down. You practice holding your body in stretched out poses with the aid of your teacher to support your limbs. And there's a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes crown patronage. Which means money! Nailed it. Mm. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize your word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her uh, skills with a lute. 
she's actually pretty good. We're super intrigued, man. What are you gonna do? I only need boats in my life. <gasps> Thank that you, but we're sense. not interested. Makes sense. Makes sense. Did she? Was she pivotal in your run? No. no. I brought her in, and then she just did nothing. Oh right, because you actually didn't have the skill that I had. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna lose. <gasps> what? One angry. What? Because we want to be pressured. Look at that face. Oh. I don't think I've ever been pressured. Oh. Oh, bonus to athletics. What do you oh, mean? look at all the bonus to military. That's so ups Oh, no, wait. No, that's not it. I thought I got a bunch of bonus to military, and then I got s upset. No. Um, good. Let's learn run. We'll learn flexibility and run. Oh, wait. How is my foreign affairs, though? Ah, unaffected. Mm. Perfect. Why did I put one into foreign affairs? What's wrong with me? Uh, totally up to you, but you can wear that uh, tabard to finish off your pole arm. Yeah. I know it doesn't look as good, but... It... We'll wear the tabard. We'll be a three musketeer. Mm. You're right. Mm. You're right, Clay. Perfect. We should also learn climb. Done. You practice climbing up and down fixed ladders, driving out any fear of heights and learning to move swiftly and surely. You practice stretching into poses and holding them for short periods of time. Your teacher holds your limbs in a slightly uncomfortable position for a few seconds, then encourages you to push carefully against the resistances she provides. Um, you work on achieving a full straddle split, your legs straight and wide. You receive a letter from young Lord Adair. So far, he's enjoying himself with your Uncle Armand in Mam Mazbo Mazamba. Uh, he says the trees look different and there are a lot more frogs. He looks forward to visiting at the lookout fort at Shepherd's Point. Thanks, kid. I don't care about you at all. She deserves to be a musketeer. Buy a goddamn feather cap. Cool, 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 cool. Let's continue learning climb and flexible. Nice. You learn to evaluate whether a tree branch is safe uh, to bear your weight. You clamber up and down trees to able to fetch fruit or get a better view. Hey, sorry. You arc up into an elegant backbend and then kick over into a standing position. You practice until you can pull your leg up behind your head. Nice. Wow. Is she five years old? Terrymon, she's living my dream right now. Mm. Let's be honest. Am I five years old? Boats. I say as I have my fruit snacks and my chicken nuggets in front of me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Staring up into the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star. Ooh, it's so pretty. Omens. Yeah. <laughs> omens. 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 Oh, cool. So it, <laughs> let's learn some run now, too. Mm -hmm. Run. And we don't need to know any more about flexible. Um, so let's do... We learn... Well, I guess... Continue with the intrigue. What, what, what did we, you? Yeah. What we did it end on for me was like week forty-eight or something. Probably fifty-two, if I had to guess. One year, I if I Makes was sense. a betting man. I actually made it to that exactly week exactly twenty-eight. Halfway through. Hmm. That means the is exactly halfway through. Yeah. Oh, things are gonna get spicy now. Medicine yeah. doesn't have a boost, does it? No. I should learn battlefield medicine though. Mm. I'm gonna learn battlefield medicine. It has the actually. word battle in it. So I know. That's know. why. Mm -hmm. So run and then medicine, battlefield medicine. Mm -hmm. I would have learned magic, then use magic to learn everything else. Damn it, Derek. You, you don't need skin. to know anything else when you know magic, though. It's true. You don't need to know anything unless you know boats. You practice walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day. You switch back and forth between a brisk walk and a light bouncing jog. Not too fast. You're still building endurance rather than speed. That's a good thing to know. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. Yeah. Gross. Dirt growing under your skin? I have unpleasant news to report. Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions on the elf border. Business is disrupted and there are growing shortages of supplies. Well, man, this is going to piss some people off if I do nothing. 
But if I send emergency just aid, you're right. So business got harder. Doesn't that happen all the time? Ugh, it's not my fault they didn't plan ahead. Oh, well, okay. A little bit. That's fine. You're impressed by the discipline. Cool. Nice. It's going fine. Don't worry. Mm. He oh. loves ships, but he doesn't know how to swim. Arashi, this is real is life right a, here. Is there a... Oh, there is a swimming stat. I didn't yeah. know that. I need to learn more swim, too. Let's do that. Why don't they just print more money, right? Yeah, like Germany after World War I. That worked out fine. Oh, uh, we don't need to cap off pole arms because I'm wearing my tabard. Mm -hmm. You get comfortable in the water, splashing around and holding your breath to go under. You practice walking and hopping through the shallows, feeling the differences in resistance and that the water uh, applies to your movement. You learn that bloodlust wastes life energy. Oh. Bleeding should be stopped through bandages, pressure, and elevation. Wow. There's something new. My lady, there are letters for you. Another letter from Brienne? Why does she keep writing me? Were we ever... We, 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 were, we were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwinnell's party. That's right, Gwinnell's about to put her in 15. Oh, she'll be the Duchess of Sudbury for real now. This other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwinnell and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Wait, think about it. <laughs> because you can totally dance at that party. I'm <gasps> gonna fucking dance, Dobie boy. Go! Go to a party! And then you see my friends! Just show up and be fucking pissed all the time. Angry dance. I imagine the queen only crumps. <laughs> yes. Just angry. The queen only crumps. Long crump the queen. Long crump I'm gonna, the queen. I'm going to dance a little. Affected by pressure. Cool. Oh, let's continue with this. I'm going to learn some more run, I think. Hmm. You steadily increase the propor uh, por proportion of time you spend jogging with shorter breaks of walking to recharge your energy. You practice jog jogging solidly for longer stretches of time and learn how much food and water you need before and after in order to keep your body going. You learn that minor burns should be cooled, washed, and gently wrapped to keep them clean, like a cut. Major burns and scalding, such as boiling oil, are untreatable on the battlefield. Aye. <laughs> on your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits! Nice! You hear the distinctive sound of incoming arrows, just in time to push yourself away from the window and avoid being shot. From the screams outside, not all your guards have been this lucky. The attackers scatter as soon as your forces show sign of resistance, vanishing into the woods. The rest of your trip passes without incident, but you can't help but feel, or can't help but jumping at shadows. Gwinnell's party is lovely. Not nearly as glamorous as your own. Un uh, upcoming birthday will be, of course. But it's still a major event on the noble scale social calendar. Everyone who is... Uh, any uh, Sorry, everyone who is anyone is present. Uncle Laurent and your younger cousins are here, but Charlotte and her mother are not. Oh. Apparently Charlotte was ill. So not from a so bite from a snake, it. though. Glad you made it to the party. Annie, glad you made it. Ah, it's so nice at the party. I love being at the party. Aris, the Duchess of L Lilla, is present, but some she's always uh, somehow manages to avoid talking to you when you draw near. <clears throat> there are refreshments and dancers and musicians and polite conversations and one or two not so polite. Will not be shoved aside. Wow, you look like the lady from Nyx. I know, right? How old are you? Thirty-five. <laughs> oh, you're Gwinnell's mom. Oh, and she's a widow. Widow. Oh no, wait, she's remarried though. Mm. Mother, it is my domain now. I need space for myself, and you have your own lands to manage. <clears throat> Just because you're of age doesn't mean you know everything, young lady. You need my advice. This is my home. It has never been yours. Oh. Before you can back away, their gaze falls on you. They wait expectantly for you uh, as uh, near queen to settle this dispute. Uh, side with my home girl Gwinnell. Get out of here. Uh, you heard her. She's an adult now and she's in charge here. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Thank you. 
Is this what your father will face upon your coronation? Cast aside without another word? Oh, he's not going to like hearing that, is he? A bit oh. later, Brienne catches up Finally with you. Finally, you get to see her. Oh, my God. We've been avoiding her. She's a bit extra. She's a bit extra. Mm. Hello, Eleanor. It's so wonderful that you're going to be queen now. I mean, I'm sorry about your mother. Thanks. Uh, but think about the opportunities you're going to have. You're so lucky. I don't trust her. That's an odd way of putting it. Anyway, I was wondering, now that you're almost queen and everything, have I told you all the secrets? Um, what secrets? Like, how to get into the old palace. I hope it's full, it's packed full of treasure and no traps what? at all. Old palace? The one at Catherine Lake, where the kings and queens of Nova used to love. I don't know anything about it. Oh. She bites her lips and frowns at you. Bites her lips an adventure. and frowns at well, you. Well, never mind then. She walks away. So much for wanting to talk to you. Rip that adventure. Oops. At the end, you all share a pleasant meal and prepare to return to your various lands. Via boats! Uh, let's see what our mood looks like. We're very pressured. Maybe we should get more willful. We'll sneak out. <laughs> right, Ginger? Wouldn't that be cool? Girl was only after our treasure. Mm. Ooh, so pressured! She wanted to go on an adventure, mm. okay, guys? No, she wanted to frick up my BS. Uh, Brini's not like that. Brini is. No, Did you see not. her her pickle hair? Yeah, that means she's genuine. That means she's not. That means oh, she's untrustworthy. I don't believe you. Um, what are we at for the bounty? Hey, peculiar. Adventure digger. Let's learn about weed. But they ain't looking to go home. Home. <laughs> We're going to learn about a weed. You practice floating on your front and your back, letting the water do the work of holding you up. You practice treading water, keeping yourself afloat for increased period of time. You've unlocked a new outfit. You learned that willow bark can be used to relieve aches and fever. The Duchess of Leah has sent you a gift. What's this? It's a cushion, finely embroidered right. with the design of a running horse. It's well done and clearly requires hours of and hours and hours of needlework, but it's also fairly useless. That's nice, I guess. I'll keep it. Actually, I don't oh. like horses. You gave You bitch. Would you like to have it? But the Duchess sent you that pillow to you. I don't care about her. I'm sorry, my lady. I can't accept your gift. It would not be appropriate. <gasps> cruelty? That cruelty's an option? Test cruelty fail. I'm not cruel. <gasps> Why does everyone so care about, uh, much about what's appropriate? Cruelty? And from the party, <laughs> Prodigy Gaming. That is allowed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, now you know. Now I know. It's only sometimes Good you only angry break dancing princess kill him with style, Nanny. Yeah. And thanks, Tango Oscar Mike. Thanks, Prodigy. Thank you, Prodigy. I sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. Ooh, we're willful now. You have a new outfit, by the way. I do have a new outfit. Good intrigue. It's this one. Mm. Ah. Very modern. I know, I was gonna say, surprisingly modern. For medieval times. Let's put this back on. It's, uh, we're not, we're not like that here. Where is cruelty? It's cruelty is hard to get. Oh. Well, what? maybe. Uh, to... Okay, okay, so sometimes the donation sounds louder than other times for me. Yeah, yeah, that donation sounds sometimes sounds louder to me too. That one, yeah, I'll make it. Well, quieter. now that they're all different, right? So are they each adjusted volume some differently? Streamlabs. Unless well, no, that's no, no, that's not how it works. No, it's all done in uh, there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cruelty run, please. Thanks. Yeah, right. I was trying, but I guess not. I think we can date the maid. God, I hope so. Date, oh, date the maid. Date the maid. Um, cool. What was I doing? Right. We're gonna learn how to climb, and we're gonna learn about poison. It's funny you didn't get the uh, thing about the dude jumping over the fence and stuff. True, I didn't. You practice climbing up and over. Oh, that's because I sent away my aunt. Ah, uh, yes. You practice climbing up and over a wall that's uh, with the aid of a well-anchored rope, leaning into the wall as you push into it with the balls of your feet. You practice 
abseiling down the wall, descending with the aid of a rope. The first treatment for most ingested poisons is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can be absorbed, which can absorb dangerous substances. Hmm. The Duchess of Mead is here to see you, milady. Didn't she send me a pillow? 18. Oh, she's 18. <gasps> oh, I love her. Can Family we marry a her? has two brothers. I don't know, guys. Hello, Elodie. I'm sorry to trouble you, but have you seen Brienne? Uh-oh. Not since the party last week. She shakes her head. She's gone missing. She's not at school where she should be, and I know she was unhappy, but I never expected. She was asking questions at the party about the old Noben Palace, but then she wandered off. I'm sorry, I don't really know. The... Oh, no. Oh, Brainy, what have you done? She hurries out of the room without even bothering to say farewell. Oh, my God. I can bet you $100 that that evil, like, cult thing is in the old palace. Oh, you think? I can almost guarantee it. <sighs> Thinking about it. Willful! You're in a new new spot today. Yeah, we're going to be super willful. Mm. Intrigue, military, and lumen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should probably learn more. I just need to be more athletic, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Athletic. I learned a little bit about the poisons and stuff. Let's get basic in herbs and poisons. And then we'll be good, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's learn more about a weed. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm making an executive decision that next stream of this, we follow a guide or spoiler-free thing to marry the maid. Marry the maid. I love her. She seems really nice. Yeah. Um, you learn that feverfew can be used to reduce tension and headaches. Certain poisons will counteract each other. Uh, such that either on their own will kill the victim, but carefully applying a matching amount of the other will cure. A new outfit! Oh, nice. Ooh, as you're walking through the great hall, a freak gust of wind suddenly blows out all the candles in the room. How strange! There must be an open window somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a sign of war. Yeah, from if I'm if uh, remembering from your run correctly. Which we've been preparing for. I can be angry a bit. I can be a little angrier now. It doesn't do anything other than make anger happen. Let's see our new outfit, which is going to be super cute. Oh, oh, that is cute. Oh, look at you. Dressed up as a little nurse. But we need our tabard. <laughs> yeah, uh, I we can do a, a Mary the Maid run. I don't know if we're going to play this game again, though. Mm -hmm. So basic Tuesday, that, Tuesday mornings. Let's learn in turn. Let's 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 start going full into intrigue. I think time to freaking learn about everything that's going on. Hmm. I I've seen everything, Father. <laughs> until it's you have children, <laughs> it's too late. I know everything now. Uh, until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his only daughter and your cousin Charlotte. The domain of Shinjia, across the sea to the west, has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline, as well as most of the na uh, navigatable rivers. N navigatable? Navigatable. Things have been so unsettling lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You can hold a tournament. What a good idea! Knights, joust knights jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer for those prizes for the winners? Status and praise. Mm -hmm. Being declared the best in front of the entire domain should be prize enough for anyone. Very well, I will draft the announcements. The execution. <laughs> you leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon the vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one of them has, of the blossoms has shriveled. <laughs> Divination. Someone in the hall is being lazy. These flowers should be replaced. You continue up the stairs into the room where a maid is waiting for you. Milady, a gift from Kegel. We still have my court manners. From the Duke? No, Milady. A merchant who house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala River. Boats! You tear open the brightly colored pipe paper to find chocolates! Uh oh. There's a little card within the box. With all compliments, the House of Kriliat. 
Court Manor's dogs in composure. You but pop you've one been, of the chocolates into your mouth. You've been dogs. Dogs, because right? dogs can't eat chocolate. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Dot dot dot. Suddenly you feel very cold. The worm's oh. world seems darker, no, colorless. I've been studying poison. Right. This might be fine. Uh oh. Partial, Partial success. success. I think these chocolates are poisoned. Get me some charcoal. But try as she might, your mate is not able to save you. Oh. I died from chocolates. Chocolate? Look at you. Died of chocolate. Partial success? What? I didn't even get to use my boats. Not Death once. by chocolate. Now you know how my horses feel. You didn't get to do the tournament either. I was excited for that. I wanted to do I the know. tournament. All those things. When did I save this one? Week 27. Oh, should we go back and learn some more medicine? Sure. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yes. Where, where? Oh. Oh. You should have waited, but no it's problem. It's fine. Go, wow. Go to Wait here. It's fine. Do, do, do. Oops. That's control to skip. Oh, wait. I have that. Do you want me to, to control no, it's skip? it's fine. You sure? Yeah. It's all just click. Uh, this Anyways. is when I started being more willful. Mm -hmm. Um. Worst things to die yeah, from. we're so far behind now. Well, I guess it's time to... Oh, uh, my medicine's God, negative. Yeah, because yeah, you're not... Uh, Willfully, you're still angry. Uh, what are you getting bonuses in right now? I'm getting bonuses in weapons and military. Hey, That's you had a fine. bad time. Yeah. We'll learn, but we'll don't worry, this came climb. in just at the right time then. I'd like to thank you all on behalf of Lefty for your prayers. Lefty's Chiefs had won their first home playoff game in 26 years. Thank you very much. Damn. Thank oh, you. Auto saves. What? There's auto saves? Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, auto on the left there. Ah! Yes. Oh, wow. Right Lefty here. Lefty owns the Chiefs? Yeah. It's pretty cool. So poison. I need to learn more poison then, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Ja. And also a big thank you to Kenny Epstein. If a victim is stabbed with a poisoned spine of a sea urchin, that spine must be removed carefully and the affected area is soaked in very hot water in order to cook the poison out. Ouch. It's possible to become immune to the venom of a particular snake by routinely ingesting a very small amount of their poison. Uh, however, this protection is temporary and will not provide any help against other snakes. Cinnabar dust causes tremors and anxiety, eventually a death if ingested over a long term. This is mostly a problem for miners, but can be dangerous if it's routinely added to someone's food. There is no cure, but it will most uh, most will slowly recover if they have no more dust. Um, the herb tansy is a mild poison with particular effect on lower forms of life. Rubbed on the skin, it repels insects. Drunk as a tea, it drives worms out from the stomach. Unfortunately, this sometimes makes people very ill. Is the chocolates right now? I, I'd I'd laugh if uh, uh -huh. the only outcome is that uh, you just know what poison killed you. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh, this is what's killing me. Good night. <laughs> yeah, this is Here it. Here it is. Let's find out. Chocolates. Yep, you know, dog's composure. Delicious. Oh. Ah. Luckily, you recognize the symptoms of poisoning immediately and are able to reverse the effects. Subsequent investigation shows that no house of Kreliad exists in, Ke in Kegel. Someone has tried to kill you, but you do not know whom. Mmm. Perfect. <laughs> Bastards. Um, we're fine being a little angry. Yeah, yeah, let's be a little angry. Cool. This alternate timeline is better because I didn't die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a good reason for it to be a good timeline. And now we learn about internal affairs because I want to know who the frick tried to kill me and foreign affairs. Someone is out to get me and I will find them and I will kill them with poison. What was that time magic just then? Neo Saidu, he doesn't use magic. He ran really fast back in time. Yeah. <laughs> Ran really There's fast no against here. the curve of the earth. We get the tournament. Uh, oh, you should save. I like. Oh. Yeah, you really should. You're in um, auto right now. There we go. There we go. This one. Yes. Done. 
Uh, tournament, uh, general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it will expose you to danger. What events do you wish to partake in? Oh, baby. Um, well, I know all about these things. So let's do archery. You make your way to the archery field. Round after round, your arrows fly smoothly towards their target. You don't win in the end, but you were ranked within the top 10, which is highly respectable. All the winners are announced and displayed to great cheers as near queen you place flower garlands around their necks. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. It's Kavan, the Earl of Eo. In one hand, he carries an armored gauntlet. In the other, a sword. My family's blood is on your hands. Uh, father, uh, Nalan, the Duke of Mead, deceased. He got upset about a woman trying to kill his sister Coruscant, or Corsande. What is he talking about? He casts the metal glove to the ground with a clatter and raises his sword, pointing it at you. I decline. I challenge you, Elodie, a blight for a life. He's challenging you to a duel. Uh, yeah. Your real magic failed. Very well. I will meet your challenge. As the challenge party, you have a choice of weapons. Swords or staves? Swords, because I know we've maxed that out for sure. Bring me my sword! The crowd seems not uh, to realize at first that this blood uh, is a blood match and not entertainment. Or perhaps they do, and the cheering is all the, uh, the louder for it. Kevin's rage fills him with great strength, but makes him erratic and unpredictable. Worse, he's armored, and he seems willing to settle for nothing less than your death or his. Finally, after much footwork and dodging, you're able to penetrate his defenses. Your sword drives through a weak spot in his armor, slicing through muscle and bone. He lies at your feet, bleeding, helpless, and his <laughs> final act is to spit upon your feet. Even in death, he would not submit. You had no choice. Okay, he was pretty cool. I wish I could have married him. Mm. But he's dead, so. <laughs> the spitting at your feet as he died? Dude, yeah. I would totally do that. Uh, like, I want a husband who would spit at someone's feet if they died. It's like an Argath move from Tactics. Mm. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Cool, 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 cool. What are we at? What are we at? Let's see. Willful. Oh, we need a little bit more ciphering. A little bit more ciphering. And, uh internal affairs. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. It's fine. Mm. You practice reading words of letters who've been arranged in reverse orders. The simplest of transpositions, which anyone illiterate could puzzle through. Sorry, anyone literate. I'm illiterate. Um, but sometimes try to hide useful information. In plain sight. In plain sight. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess of Nix, claims kinship o to the old mm. Merva line and originally asked your mother to the title for uh, to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As compromise, your mother created her uh, yeah, created her brother, the Duke of Merva. I wouldn't marry anyone and lost a fight to a 14-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we still don't know why he was mad at us, right? Well, his father's dead. Yeah. We didn't kill him or nothing. Like, um... Why is he mad? At last, the Duke of Mead was the older half-brother brother, sorry, uh, to the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the life mate of the old Duke of Ursel. Wow. Gay. Gay. <laughs> then broke that off only a year later. Wow. Scandalous. He retired into seclusion and died still unwed. To be fair, she trained like several weeks. Yeah. A lady, your father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Fine, I'm coming. You find your father standing over a map of the coastline, his face grave. Ships have been sighted on approach from Shanjia. Not trade ships. This is a war fleet. It's time for boats. What? Within a week, they'll be in Novan waters. Within two, they could reach the capital. Then we will fight to defend ourselves. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it'll be difficult on short notice. Recruit soldiers. Mm. Fine, we'll do that. You will need to drop a naval strategy for our ships to carry out. 
Oh, baby. You could choose to act as admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. It's fine, I know how to dance. Unless you think your personal skills will make the difference, I would strongly advise against it. Direct the fleet. The risk is mine to take. You have your mother's heart. Do your best, and Nova will survive. To war! To war! Angry. Mm. Just a little bit. Because we're still willful. Yep. Man, I should learn more battlefield medicine. Mm. I really should. Mm hmm. And ciphering. Because we're going to go to war. You practice shifting substitution ciphers where each letter is replaced by one of a few steps further along the alphabet so that take or is that cake and pie becomes you practice random substitution ciphers where the normal alphabet is replaced um, by one in jumbled order this is harder to decode but most people will need a written substitution chart to read or write it and the chart that can, can be lost or stolen you practice complex transposition ciphers where messages are written down in columns or lines and then re reorganized into scrambled words this means that both an encoded and plain text written copy exists, which can also be insecure. Ooh. A new outfit. You learn that soldiers should never sleep in damp clothes or on damp ground. This is unhealthy. You learn that uh, latrines, food waste, and burials must be kept far away from living soldiers to avoid spreading disease. Holes should be dug deep and covered after use. Danger on the high seas! <laughs> Ships close in on each other, angling into range. Climbing. Oh, oh no. no. You take your position with this. If I fall and die, <laughs> I'm going to be very upset. You take your position with a spyglass, watching the enemy movements closely and shouting out any unnecessary changes in plan. The Xianjins have uh, half again as many troops as you do. It doesn't look promising. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. The Novan ships are sunk or scattered as the Shanjian forces press towards landfall. Your grasp of strategy allows you to recognize when the tipping point has passed and order your remaining vessels to retreat before they're all destroyed. This saves lives, but it means leaving the Novan approaching completely unguarded. Many good soldiers were lost today, and Nova's troubles have not ended. Since you have failed to repair the, uh, repel the invasion, the Shanjian fleet will soon land and their troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. Your remaining soldiers will hold them off as long as possible, of course, but the main strength of your military has been exhausted. Nova's future looks bleak. I wonder if climbing would have made all the difference. Climbing could have made all the difference. What else did you fail? I war. saw climbing. I failed war. Yeah, I, war. I, I failed all of war. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? I like it. It's I'm so keeping cool. it. I got a monocle. I love it. I hey. love it. Wars oh are truly my, complicated. My God, God, we lost God. the big war check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tales of War. Should have worn the war outfit. I should have worn my war outfit. Mm -hmm. Man. I wonder if that would have helped. I did wear my magic outfit. When Your climbing was high, too. I know. How much I, climbing did you need? I kind of feel like I'm just going to put every... Like, well, they're, they're on my doorstep now, so I'm going to get, like, well, running. Get ready to run. You, run like, yeah, get ready to run and climb. You want to try a quick load of an autosave a moment before and do climbing? No. Okay. Maybe. Uh, what do yeah, you think? well, just because we... Uh, well, you might as well yeah. see us through the end. Yeah, let's yeah, see this through happens. the end. I'll get a save on and then... Oops. That one, 34. We're going to run yeah. and climb, though. Ooh. Oh, that's funny. This is from... Uh, uh, oh! Well, this actually just happened. Uh, so, Tom dies by arrows, Clay's dies by Kraken, and Yenny dies by... Uh, Chocolate. Fitting. I, I didn't fitting. really die by Kraken. Okay. You did die by Kraken. Yeah. It did happen. <laughs> Only because I chose to. You, <laughs> you learned the proper techniques and clothing for running in different kinds of weather to avoid frostbite, overheating, or disease. You practice running up hills to build leg strength. You practice climbing up and down a free hanging rope. You learn to move in rhythm with the rope as it rocks. You learn how to tie a variety of knots, which ones are safe to use and uh, around the body when climbing. That's what I missed. Mmm. And also, we got Inuyasha Frost 7. Thank you very much. Your rule will be short, Nyani. 
Have fun. Maybe. You know what, though? I bet you it, that would have, like, helped you if your ship started sinking or something. Climbing? Was it climbing? Mm. Um, so it probably wouldn't have made a difference. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shanjian control. Soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields, and frightening citizens. A diplomatic de uh, delegation from Shanjia has requested access to the ca castle to discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem you have no choice. You prepare yourself as best as you can to meet with the re representatives of sh from Shanjia. You expected diplomats and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you, a man announced by your service as Togami, King of Shanjia. Is he oh, really no. their king? Why would a king come all the way here? Oh my I... god! <gasps> He's beautiful! My... And your sense magic my also dear. failed. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. You have much responsibility at such a tender age. Don't pretend to be my friend while you're killing my people! Tempa, Tempa, princess. After all, I am here to save your people. War benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. But Prodigy, he has so many boats! Um, Did we fail sense magic? Yes. A contest, a game, so to speak. With Nova's the stakes. Oh my god. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. What sort of game? This well. <laughs> Man, I want to load my file and do this. It's well known that Nova is ruled by Lumens. As it happens, I too possess the powers of a Lumen. I propose a formal duel, my powers against yours. The winner takes control of Nova, the loser dies. Well, remember when we said no to all that magic? Mm hmm, yeah. Well, maybe we'd be able to marry a hot dude if we didn't say no to magic. There it is, folks. But I'm not a Lumen! Saving it for the coronation, were you? Such a pity that you'll be unprepared. Well then, go find your crystal. Becoming- Oh my god, what a dick! Holy shit! Becoming a Lumen is a very simple matter. Then we can have our duel. I really dig it though. What's the point? You know I can't win. Why don't you just kill me now? Because that's not the game. You want to save your people, don't you? I want to fight a Lumen. If you refuse, then the war will continue. Wasn't that the thing in the lore where if he kills a Lumen, you get their stone or something? Yep. Mm -hmm. He's gathering the stones. I'll sweeten the deal. If you meet with me in a formal Lumen challenge, I'll call off the invasion, even if I win. Mm. Really? Oops. I swear it by the gods. Nova will be free and safe. Why take that risk? You're winning the war. God damn it. <laughs> It's not the land I want. I want your crystal, okay? God damn <laughs> To gain your power, I'm willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? I don't like this, but what choice do I have? Oh. What if I marry you instead? Then everything I have is yours as well. Silly little girl. I already told you. Your land isn't what matters to me. And I already have a wife. A woman far riper than you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like high school all over again. <laughs> okay. This is pretty brutal. Oh, you've no choice. Okay. Then I must. No, not my little girl. You want to fight the Lumen ruler of Nova? Your father reaches what? the and pulls out a shimmering blue crystal, which he places over his heart. Oh my no. god. Please transform, Dad. Magical Dad? Magical Daddy, go. Illuminate! Holy shit! Whoa! Your hair stands on end as a veil of blue sparkles settles over your father, crawling what? into his skin. When it's over, the jewel has been absorbed into his body without a trace. Fight me. Leave her alone. Ah! Well, this is not what I expected, but it will serve my purposes just as well. Daddy? Be quiet, Elodie. You are not a queen yet. You are forced to sit and watch as the two men work out the details of the duel and its stakes. 
then take their places in a carefully warded circle. Your father crosses his arms, summoning up a thick gray fog that swirls around him, hiding him from view, but the Shanjian king conjures a cloud of glowing butterflies which drive the fog and, and blow it apart. <gasps> Butterfly magic! I want to marry you! Then the invader claps his hands together and chants. Fiery red lights cluster over his fingertips and merge together into a pulsing blob before erupting towards your father. He resists with a beam of blue, catching the infernal energy and pushing it back in Togami's direction. You knew what the outcome would be. You knew it all along. Togami is a trained lumen, eager to demonstrate his powers, and your father was your father. Plus ten depressed. The blue crystal reappears, laying beside your father's body like an innocent discarded bauble. But now that blue color is colored by a faint wash of red. The smirking king of Shanjia sweeps the crystal off the floor and tucks it away into his robes. How fitting. First I end your mother's <gasps> life, and then your father's. You what? You didn't think her death was an accident, did you? That took careful planning. And now the Novan power is mine, and you even get to live. He holds out a hand in front of him, the elegant robe dangling freely. Now kneel and kiss my hand. Never. Not in a thousand years. With a scream, you launch yourself at the Shanjian king, prepared to go down fighting. Oh, took a little composure. Of course, it only takes a touch of his magic to end your life. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this death. Clay? Yeah, we I'll, need, we I'll, need, I'll beat him up. Yeah, we need to have the ultimate, alternate timeline where the Kraken doesn't happen. <laughs> and I fry this guy? And you fry this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so mad! I don't think you can do... Like, You're going to have to go back in time quite a bit, though, because you need to uh, get your naval strategy up enough, or else you don't leave no, in time. No, no, no. I'll just let them land. Elodie did not mm. survive to reach her coronation. Nova would... Oh. You have to go forward with that, right? Uh, January 5th. Oh my god, you almost deleted my last auto save. You don't know, you have your normal saves? I do. That are all titled? Send aids. That seems right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! yeah. Uh, don't. don't. No, it's too late for that. Yeah, naval strategy you could act. Uh, uh, I will stay in the capital. No, there's too much to do here. I can't go to sea. I don't know what the hell I was doing. You're uh, yielding. Uh, let's get a little happy before war, you know? <laughs> a little cheerful. I love war. What are your skills oh, look like? Oh, yes. What do my skills look like? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not as good as mine. I guess I'll just, like, uh double up on elegance and presence really quickly this is a clean them you think but you're well, like maxed yeah well because i mean i don't know what's gonna happen with that guy so whatever uh uh elegance and presence okay well I, yeah i mean you could have just worn that outfit Danger on the high seas. Ships close in, angling the Shanjians that have half as many troops as you do, but doesn't look promising. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. Novan ships are sunk or scattered. Press the landfall. Many good soldiers. Yep. Many soldiers, long possible. It looks bleak. Well, that's depressing. Let's get a little more cheerful out here. Let's play some toys. <laughs> Enemy armies coming, <laughs> and I'm playing with a teddy bear. It's just a. Like I'm gonna invade your lands. Mm -hmm. Not if I can help it. I'm magical girl <laughs> Elodie, and I will punish you. Mm, you got you um, got the most bonus points in uh, conversation. Oh, uh, yeah. you know what? Let's just load up flattery. I mean, we can flatter him a little bit. Yeah. I mean, this is a logical choice. We'll see how it, how it pays off. Invasions proceeding, coastline, diplomatic, yep, boom, done. Uh, representatives, yep. Yeah. Togami, king of Shenjia. Born intelligence, world history. King come all the way here, he's a lumen too. My dear young lady, difficult. 
You yearn to slap the false sympathy off his oily face. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. But you force yourself to remain calm. More benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to sell things in a civilized manner. A contest, a game, so to speak, with no worse stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave in your domain no more blood. What sort of game? Lumens, power of a lumen, formal duel, my powers against yours, the winner takes control of Nova, the loser dies. Your game? By your rules for my life? That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of formal dueling passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It is important we do this by the ancient codes. Why should I? If you refuse, then the war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you meet me in a formal lumen challenge, I'll call off the invasion even if I win. Really? Swear by the gods, Nova will be free and safe. Why take the risk? You're winning the war. It's not your land, I want your crystal. It won't work for you. How little you know. Under the right circumstances, resonance can be changed. To gain your power, I am willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? I can sense his power. It's so strong. I've learned everything I could possibly, I possibly could, but he's at least as good as I am. I don't like this, but what choice do I have? Lore success. Nice. Refuse outright. Um, real qu- and real quick, while well, we got this save. quick choice here, is Caprumia. Thanks. Guess I missed most of this. I'll watch the VOD. Hmm. Should probably save in slot 69. Duel. I was knocked up in my water. Uh, and also, because it's playing at the right time. Da, 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 bam! Hey, bam! Thank you so much up? for joining up in the membership. Again, we're going to learn what uh, what level you're on in, as soon as it loads up. And just a big thank you for your continued support. We hugely appreciate it. Thank you, TFM. Yay! And lastly, because it's here. Darkness. Darkness. Which was the prediction last donation that, was, that they that made was, was that it was going to be Xehanort. Well, guys, it's what well, uh, it was fun, but I really need to get to sleep now since it's already two in the morning for me. See you in tomorrow's stream. Night. Stay there. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Then I must. Togami explains the rules of formal dueling to you, including a carefully inscribed circle of wards, which will contain the effects of any powers you wield, protecting bystanders from danger. Then it is time to begin. You trade attacks, one spell sensed and countered by another, reserving your strength as much as possible. It might almost be exciting if your life weren't on the line. Sense magic success. You need to end this quickly before his experience allows him to come up with a trick you can't defeat. He's used to dealing with magical attacks, but he might not be expecting a physical one. Perhaps if you rushed him, you could take him off guard. Up close, he couldn't use his fancy spells, but what would you do then? You still have to use magic to win. You can't just grab him and bang his head against the floor. <laughs> Maybe you could. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, just imagine, like, specking entirely into defensive magic. Just yeah. douche, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wheel magic. Perhaps you could focus your power into the shape of a sword and attack him with that. Or maybe you could distract him somehow. You could cast a spell that he couldn't block. What? Did you do anything with swords? No. Are you going to dazzle? Oh, my God. Razzle, dazzle. Dazzle. Oh, decoration, damn it. You throw out a dazzling showers of sparkles, hoping to blind him and seize the advantage. It doesn't work. Swirls of dark smoke rise at the floor at your feet, spinning around you like a black hurricane. You know you have to stop, but how? It's all around you. There's no uh, nothing to target. Faster and faster it spins, making it hard to breathe until finally everything goes dark. Oh, man. Load your razzle. I think I need sword, though. I think you need no. sword. You don't have enough decoration or sword. Mm-hmm. The motes of shimmering moonlight coalesce into a weapon in your hand. Reflexes plus sword. You lunge, but he ducks under your blade and rolls away. Before he can regain your target, he summons up a shield of red fire that surrounds him totally. Now it ends. The fire sweeps forward, devouring your vision. Dang, I don't think we can. We can't well, kill him. You I, had. I think I can, because I can get decoration with those couple weeks. You think? Fucking yeah. Charlotte and that snick. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, war. You can even go a little bit behind that war. I could. I uh, don't. Uh, stay in the capital. Oh, frick. Okay. Uh, it's angry for angry. weapons, right? Yeah, angry. Oh, cool. I'm... Crap, I can't get angry. I forgot about that. Oh, I didn't learn right. weapons. Right. Um, no, you need a decoration. I can get ang- ang- depressed ang- and lonely. Depressed and lonely. This only does that. Ang- angriest says that uh, you can just refuse the fight. 
All right, uh, which is something we can look into in a second. But also, you don't need uh, the sword. You need decoration for the bedazzling. That's all you needed. And yeah, I know. I know. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Decoration. What does decoration do? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, uh, probably cheerful. Yeah, cheerful or willful. And you need like two cheerful or at least a cheer and willful. Wait, why willful? Because your yielding is two. Oh, yeah. So if you have cheerful, lonely, yielding, that's not what I want. Willful two, and cheerful. Two willful and one lonely. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Hoster says you need a hundred decorations for, for Dazzle. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, you could also wear this suit, right? Where's your decorations at? Probably zero. It's oh, it zero. is zero. Oh, no. It is zero. I don't think I can get there in time. No. No, no you definitely can't. Just have to go back a little farther. Oh. At least I'm cheerful. Yeah, so you need to just, yeah, get your yielding life or willful life happening. So I got all my lumen going on. Uh, lore, I think I can live without, of course. So we're just gonna plow into decoration no matter what. Yep. Well, I guess I should probably do instrument and decoration so I can get that to 25. Yeah. What if we need something else too? Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, so now you just need to be able to feel a little more pressured is all. It's like one... Everything that does cheerful also does lonely. What about one pressured? Do you have anything with one pressured? Uh, two. Well, no, one pressured. Two yielding. Two or yielding, two yield no. too much. <laughs> and Grace wants you to visit Juliana. What? I already did that. Angry, were you there for my playthrough? Like, I, I've done a lot of these things, so. Because mm. uh, Juliana is the thing, and it's all like, oh, you don't care about me, you just care about protecting the realm from magic, and if I die, it doesn't matter to you. You don't love me. And she's like, yes. I know. <laughs> That's right. I never claimed to. Why would you think that? Oh, tournament! <laughs> we oh, get to do this right! Again. <laughs> yeah, you get quite a few weeks at this, at least. Uh, employment, sure. That's what you did last time. I did, I did. So much yielding. Why do I get willful? Let's do this. Oh, I got a new outfit. Coronet. Oh, expression knows the toga. Ah, uh, yes. I've had that though, or someone's had that. You uh, have. I want this though. Um. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. You got your expression outfit. Yeah, I did. Uh, classes, double decoration. Go. I hope. I, like, I hope there's not another check after this. All right. So I did music and I sang terribly. Um, yeah. I want to fry this dude again because it's just fun. Uh, mounted parade? I don't know, maybe. Uh, Safe, just in case you die. Yeah, I, I won't die. He said. <laughs> he said before he dies. It'd be really good if you did. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's do Mounted Parade. You choose to lead the Mounted Parade on a brilliant white horse. You didn't actually know how to ride, but the horse is well trained, so all you need to do is step straight, look regal, and don't fall off. All the winners are announced and displayed to great cheers as near queen. You place flower garlands on the next. Suddenly, a man approaches you from the winner's platform. Dealing with magic. I wonder if I can... Uh, okay, okay. I, last time, I just killed him with magic. Yeah. Can I accept and then kill him with magic? No. That would probably kill me. Kill him with magic. Yeah, I think your magic uh, check yeah. happens at this yeah. point. Without further word, you direct the full force of your magical wrath at the Earl of Eo. There's a horrible scream and the smell of burning flesh. I decline. Mm. Rip. Oh my god. I think I 
No, I can't yeah. do it. Oh, no, I, no, I you're the go. opposite. Okay. You need cheerful. Where, what, what's cheerful? What is like what is on your Everything that gives me cheerful also either does lonely or wielding. So, like, can I get plus two pressured somehow? I get too willful. Oh, that doesn't help. Wait, willful, willful and yielding. And I is there a happy and yielding, was it? Oh, lonely and yielding? God damn it. It's like willful. Okay, well if you if you did neck out, that would give you two willful, and then at least you can But try. it also does lonely though. So then I've gotta get lonely up and like it's all like it's terrible. Yeah. Like yeah. the 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 way like I need the special things to do the things. Yeah. Well, I, oh man! Jesus, DFM, thank you. It, that was a glory to mankind again. <laughs> DFM, DFM. Shit. Jeez. So be Just, sure to get in the DFM raffle because that's a million waffles. Send some yeah, love. Send some love to DFM. Send it out. I should have made an exclamation point. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Would have been good. Cheerful. It's just, it's the big oof. It's big Lord and Yang kind. It's a big old just uh, sort of moment. And all we can say is just a huge thanks. The support you give us is always incredible. Cool. Is Clay doing this big waffle for you? Let uh, us oh, know. Capital. Absolutely. I don't want to die there. How, how, oh, how Where's your decoration at? That's a good question. Yes, Tom! Okay. <laughs> Clay is doing it! Clay gets to do the big waffle. Sucks. What does any of this mean? I did it! You I did it! I did it! What um, else? Uh, maybe do you want to put something into something else? Just random? I guess so. I don't know. Um, like, what, 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 what do you think, think would be helpful? <laughs> Foreign intelligence. <laughs> I did died. I died. Uh, maybe you. get into just put some emptiness into sword sordery. And this is the alternate timeline where Clay. Uh, reflex is actually reflex is more universally useful. Uh, you can only get five more points into reflexes. Thirty. Thirty. Oh, yeah. it stops at fifty. Yeah. yeah, I thought. Oh, I don't want my brain. Fifty until you get twenty-five in each. That's why my brain had twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. You can now play sports on the weekends. That would be useful. Oh right, I have another week anyway. Oh. oh yeah. Plus one angry, minus one lonely. Oh, that'll actually help a lot, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, cheerful. Conversation and athletics. Yeah. Ooh, athletics. You could get some good r run, I guess. Okay, I'm going to pick the winner of the DFM raffle. Okay, oh, for one million waffles. It's Neo Psy, dude. Hey, congrats. First words were derf. Derf. <laughs> oh, uh, sense magic, composure. Foreign yeah. intelligence, you failed. That's fine. Uh, oh, and that's lore. funny. I had a, I had a different uh, option last time. What was it? Anyways, accept his terms. I to can't dazzle save. him. Drawing on your knowledge of design and your control over light, you surround yourself with strands of rainbow color which flow over and around your image. That's only the beginning. Once you're in the cover of this prismatic shield, you create false image of yourself and step invisibly aside. This is so freaking cool! You strain up keeping the illusion of yourself and responding to Togomi's attack is high. You can't keep this up for long. You have to end it now. Stepping up as close behind him as you dare to limit the time and space he has to react, you raise your hand and force out a high-speed disc of solid light. It drives into his neck, killing him instantly. You have won. Oh my god! Remember when you just nuked the ocean and killed this dude as his, as he came this way? If you attack the enemy... Why are you skipping that? Ah, uh, we've done it before. Pog! Bum, 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 what? Bum. Was that? That was all old stuff? Yeah, it's all old. Even though you beat the dude? That, he, yeah. that was the end of it? I, it's because I didn't talk to her before. Um... Sure. Let's just let's just fill up my lore just in case, I guess. Uh, big, big lore, lore, bam, done. Once you defeated the king of Shanjin in a duel, the invasion was meant to be over. In practice, it is not. 
quite so easy to expel a foreign army from your lands, particularly when their leadership is falling apart. The remaining Shanjian generals seem surprisingly eager to go home and left without a fuss, but a large number of soldiers have broken ranks and run amok, looting and pillaging their way through Nova just for fun. A number of royal holdings have been damaged and valuables stolen. Not only do you lose them, but you have to pay for repairs. With so many renegades on the loose, Nova seems likely to have a severe bandit problem for years to come. When Dogami died, he left behind a crystal. A mauve crystal. Mauve? Mauve. 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 A mauve crystal. Uh, with glimmers of pink where it catches the light. Such a pretty bauble from such an ugly event. Since Nova won the duel, the crystal is now your rightful prize, but you have no idea what to do with it. For now, you lock it away in the royal treasury. At least there's no kraken, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. kind of one of the best timelines. <laughs> Conversation athletics, eh? Um, maxed out lore. <laughs> you know, despite the uh, severe bandit problems, and the war ravaged lands. There's something else coming. I'm just waiting for it. Gigi's oh. typing it right now. I can hear it. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. Great. Shoot. Uh, time slipped by so quickly. Only two weeks remain before your birthday celebration and your official coronation of queen. Have you done enough to build a stable Nova? It's tradition for the palace to provide entertainment and refreshment for the common people from the new monarch. Uh, size and scope of such feasts. An extravagant feast. Roasted meats, cakes, chocolates, wine. Enough for everyone and I can give out commemorative cups and coins. <laughs> oh. Hi, Lottie. Hi. What's the matter? Now that she's a minister, Mommy's been telling me more about Lumen. She wants me to learn about magic so I can be one when I'm older. But she says I need a crystal, and I'll only get one when she dies. Or when you die. Don't worry, we're both gonna live! Really? I promise! Buzzing preparations, oh, details of your colors and flowers, and so on. Oh, decoration success. Nice. You were happy to collaborate with the designers to ensure you were shown off in the best possible effect. Oh. You were still so young after all. Good design will help a lot in making you look like a queen. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. The others are more interested in the subject of your marriage. It can't take place until you're of age, of course, and considering all the preparations and the need to recover from the coronation, not for much longer than that. Still, it doesn't help if you want buzzing around the ideas and suggestions. That's a good DM, GD. That's a real good GD DM. GDM. Yep. GDM. Let's go to the dungeon before we get married. <laughs> because I mean that's basically where we're going am I right <laughs> oh my gosh yeah, yeah right GDSM don't sacrifice the Charlotte yeah, basically that, that character is named after exactly who you think that they could be named after at the end of last year you were celebrating 14th birthday you were a school garden surrounded by teachers friends yep Yes. Long live yes. Long live yes. Long live yes. Well. Long so, live yes. What's so funny? I was. Oh, once, oh, once his daughter was secured to the throne, Jaws returned his birthplace focused on uh, Duke Kalaris. He was pursued by many women, but showed little interest in marrying, directing them instead to his brother. Aww. As Lumen Minister Lucille requisitioned the mauve crystal that Elodie had taken from the Shanjin King and offered it to her daughter, somewhat to Elodie's surprise, Charlotte was able to activate. Wow, Charlotte, like, hungers for power, I guess. I guess. Uh, activate the crystal's power and bond with it, becoming Nova's youngest Lumen. The young queen wondered if something in the careful ritual of Togami's duel had affected the crystal's resonance. Surely her favorite cousin could not have the same personality as that madman. Surely. Following Elodie's victory over the Shanjian King, the public opinion of Lumens rose to a height that hadn't been seen in a hundred years. Young children would dress up and play at being magical kings and queens. Oh my god. Freed from the need for secrecy, the Duchess Juliana and the prince, our Priestess Celine were able to announce their shared magical powers and their love! <gasps> oh! 
<laughs> that is dope! <laughs> At Elodie's prompting, the lovers pledged their devotion to each other in a private ceremony, after which Celine retired from the priesthood. Oh my god, Mary. <gasps> Pink and blue got oh together. Goodness. That's so good. That's I like so it. Funny. Uh, to accompany her wife to Ursel. I love it. Oh, after the invasion failed, relations with Shangia remained tense. First came the recriminations and demands from the queen of Shangia, devastated by the death of her husband, which Elodie ignored. <laughs> Next came Catch. the subtler approaches, the quiet gratitude and offers for alliances from ministers who were thrilled to see Togami gone. Elodie ignored those also, <laughs> which was just as well. <laughs> <laughs> Since the next thing to arrive was the preserved head of one of those traitorous ministers sent by the Queen of Shanjia as a warning. There was no signs of war in the immediate future, but there was not likely to be an alliance either. Years later, when both were adult, Elodie, Queen of Nova, and Adair, Duke of Elf, were married. An entire week of public celebration was set aside for their wedding, and both bride and groom paraded through the capital of fine white horses from the east. The relationship often seemed to be more one of friends and companions than passionate lovers, but they brought stability to Nova. As a lumen, it was Elodie's responsibility to defend Nova from monsters' threats. She decided that the monsters within the realm were every bit as dangerous as those outside, and thus set herself to the task of conquering the old forest. Oh! Each monster would have to be identified and carefully studied in order to defeat it without upsetting the balance. It would take many years to reach the heart of the forest, but Elodie was undaunted, and thus Queen Elodie's legacy stretched into the future. Pretty what a good end! <laughs> Pretty dope end! Damn. That's probably like the best possible end. One I think of, it is. Yeah. I think it is. I, I, I'm sad our dad was alone though. Yeah, well, oh, I mean, different. sad, but I think it's because he loved so good in his life. You Are know? you sure it's not because we scared off the hot girl who was I younger? Know, I, I'm wondering if that one little event, like, changed that ending. I know, like, he was literally, he didn't love anyone, but he thought maybe with her. And she was actually kind of cool. Was she? He's probably just so done with politics and stuff like that. He wanted to find someone with like minor. Time. That's because she was not of no. She was not noble. Yeah, you can't get your dad to remarry. I yeah. So. Damn that. So this was almost a flawless run, but you'd have to go back through the entire game and in that one moment save your dad save and, your and dad. be like, ooh, are you gonna kiss her on the face? Yeah. And then he's like, Silence, daughter. And she's like. Oh. Oh, and she becomes your mother-in-law and she's actually really sweet and she plays games with you because she's young enough that she, you know, can do mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Oh, and I, I will, GD, I will. Um, I'm so glad yeah. we beat that jerk, though. Yeah. Just such a jerk. He killed your father and your mother. Oh, man. Rude. Well, Whoop. in my timeline, yeah. he killed your father. Man, that would have been so badass, though. I kind of wanted to see what would happen if we had reflexes and sword right? in, that, in that scenario. I kind of want to also go and see what would happen if I knew enough about castles when uh, Brienne was like, come to the castle. Mm. There's treasure. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the the evil cultist run. Yeah, I know. It'd be fun to do like a, uh, a guided run of this. I don't know what right? time, though. Maybe Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. Ah, uh, damn epic pun slinger. It is the end. Tis the end of a good game. And thanks again, guys, for all the support. We'll, uh... It's a, it's a little... It's... Uh, wow. Wow, you guys. Yeah. So, like, thank you for wow. changing our lives. You would not believe how many times I've had to load the game and how many times Yanny's killed me. What? <laughs> That's why I don't take chocolates from you. <laughs> not anymore. Not since that incident. <laughs> um, Economics and foreign policy oh. only. I know. I want to I wanna do the typewriter hospital run. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll let writer. you know in uh, in in, a, in when I reply, reply GD. Uh, okay, cool. Well, then that is that for tonight. And see you tomorrow at twelve thirty for more tales of Vesperia. Yeah, cool, awesome game. Be there. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye.